you are welcome to my channel mindset academy if you look at the right hand side of the screen you see a figure which is a die support and it is drawn in oblique projection right and we're going to reproduce this given figure in oblique projection is that okay now so the first thing we're going to do is to draw your oblique axis unlike isometric in drawing oblique projection you don't need this you need your 45 degrees square, squared right now you are going to draw your horizontal axis this way right and you draw your vertical axis this way and you draw one axis to reward 45 degree right so what you need in oblique is your angle what 45 degree right meaning the angle from here to here is what 45 so you don't really need this so I'll move this meaning oblique projection has one of its axes 180 the other one 45 and the other one 90. now let's start now if you look at it closely from here to here right is from here to somewhere around here and that's given as what 100 and what 35 is that the key so i'm going to draw 100 and what 35 this is 135 here can you see that it will be at this point here and I will extend it to this point and the next thing I'm going to do is the entire what the entire length here and that given to be um uh, 13 point what 31.5 so I'm going to measure 31.5 at this distance here from here and this is zero this is 30 31.5 somewhere around here you can see that and I'll take it up up this way right and if you look at it again and I'll also take it up too you can see that now the next thing we are going to be doing here will be the entire height the entire height is given from here to here and that is what 120 we are going to be measuring what 120 upward from this point from 0 to what 120 this is it here and i'm going to close them up this way right and i'm going to close them up this way and here also this way This is the oblique you see. This is how you draw your oblique, right? Using 180, 45, and what 90. Now we'll start from the back. You know that from here to here is thickened, and then I'm going to thicken it. And from here to here is also thickened, which is from here to here, I'll thicken it. Right, and also from here to here, also taking and now taking it. Now, if you look closely, we are told that this thickness here from here to here is 60. So, the best thing you do is to get half of it, which is half of 120. From here to here is 120, you get half of it, and that will be what 60. So, from here, I'm going to measure 60 here. You can see that. So from 60, since the thickness from here to here is 60, so I'll measure 30. So this will be 0, right? Or I should use this to get better understanding. So I'm starting from 0 here. I'm starting from 0 here. So this will be 30 and what? 30. That makes what? 60. You can see that? And I'm going to take it in this way. Faint line. Take it in this way, faint line. And we're told that from here to here going in is what six. So I'm going to measure six going in. 
this is six here and I'll close it up from this point I'll take it up from this point I'll close it up and this point I'll close it up in here close it up also close it up and this is going in here you can see that now all this is also thickened and here is also what thickened right and I'll close it up too now the next thing is this shape here is given to be what 67.5 right thickness from here to here so everything around this is 0.5 and this is what it did too so we know we've already got in the center which is the center here of that figure I'll just put it a little bit to touch here and from here to come here so that is the center of it now the center of 135 if you divide 135 by 2 you're going to be having what 60 you'll be having 67.5 right half of that so I'll measure half of it from 0 and this is 50 65 67.5 here and I'll draw my vertical line there right this way now what we have here we are told this is 82 so that will be 41 41 each right I'm going to measure 41 41 each here this is 41 I can use this from 0 to towards the left this is 41 this is the word 41 right and the height if you divide to 7.5 right to 7.5 by 2 we are going to be having so we are having 3.7 when you divide 0.5 having a 3.75 so i'm going to take my compass that should be better when i make it my compass or i make it of this so i'm going to have it this way 3.75 this way is 0 30 31 32 33 right so somewhere around here it's going to be here 30 31 32 33 so somewhere around here I see that and I'll just take it from the box take it from the box you can see that and the radius here you can see it's giving us to be what um it's coming out the thickness from here coming now we have the radius to be arrow 15 right so in doing that this is what we are going to be having we are going to measure r15 but before that right the distance from here to here is given to be given to be 45 right from here to here is what 45 so i'll just project this outward this way i'll just bring this out this way Right, I'll bring it out to this way, this point here, and here also I'll bring it out to this way, and here too I'll bring it out this way, and I'm going to measure 45 from that end. So if I measure 45 from this point here, this place, 45, right, and I'll be closing them up. So this will close up this way, this will also come down and I'll close it up to this way then this will come down to all good so we have that now the radius here of this they call it a fillet this curve here is given to be what 15 so I'm going to take my compass now 
and I'll measure radius of 15 on my meter rule this way. Radius of what? 15. So from 0 to 15. Right? And I'll place it at this point. Mark here and mark here. Right? And I'll place it here. Then I'll strike an arc. This is how you do a full effect. Right? So when you've done that, you will now place it at this point. Then you draw this. So in oblique, you don't have any, you just draw your circle normally, right? And I'll come here also, this is how you do it again, you place it here. How to draw a chamfer. I mean, uh, if you let, I'll place it here and I'll place it here, right? Now, and I will now come to this point, I'll strike an arc. I'll come to this point, I'll also check another arc. Right? So if I've done that, I'll now come to this point. Then I'm going to do this. You can see that. And I'll come here to, I'll do the same thing to you. I'll bisect here, bisect here. I'll come here. I'll check an arc. I'll come here to I'll check another arc. So where do you meet? I'm going to do the same thing too. Can you see that? I'll come here too. Put it here. You don't really need that. Right? Because it's inside the figure. What I just need is here too. So this is a fillet. Right? And this is what? A chamfer. So if I want to get a chamfer now, let's for instance, 15, 15. When I just join this with a straight line this way, right? That is what we call a chamfer. When I use a curve, a curve is called what? A fillet. I will go now. So I'll be moving this. So we go back from here. I can arc from here also. Check another arc. So where they meet. Having this, you can see that, and also I'll come here to strike an arc, strike an arc, come here, cut, come here also, cut. Now come to this point, and we have this. Similarly, I'll come here to strike an arc. Strike an arc, come here, cut, come here also, cut. I will space it here. So I can now use my meter root. There remains one more, which is here too. So I place it here. Strike an arc, here, and here. I'll come here too. I'll cut this up. Now I'll come here too. I'll cut this up. So where they meet. Right? So give me this. So this is what I'm going to use and I'll connect all those points together. I'll connect from here to here. Then from here to here. Right, then from here to here, here, then from here to here, right, then from here to here, then from here to here, right, and I don't really need this. So what I just need to just connect is just in between them this way. So if I should move that, I just connect it to this, right? So uh, what else again? And just want to I'll just draw a tangent to this point. 
Yes, we have. Yeah, so I'll we'll draw that tad tangent to this point. Right? Then, from this point, we don't need all this tension inside, so I'm going to remove this and this. So, I'll just take this now. Top here. Then, I'll take this to top here. So what we have here, so the next one is what will be inside of here, right? Which is this screw that we have here. And the first thing we have to do is to get the center. So we already have one center here, which is this, right? This is the center here, so I'll just generate it to this point. Now bring it down. And the other center, which is this. So let's close it up. So this is where we are meeting. So since it is M30, so what I'll just do will be that since it is M30, what I'll do is uh use the, the diameter is 30 right so i'll just take my compass i'm going to measure half of 30 on my meter row. 0 to 15. now place it here right i'm going to draw everything i'm going to draw that so i'll just place it here I'm taking it. Right? So, you can just continue doing the same thing. Let me extend the center a little bit in. Right? So, on that line will be different points. You can just be doing the same thing continuously. From here. The next point again. To the next point again. To the next point again. At least five five millimeter away. This is what we have here, right? So we have um, reproduced the figure that you can see at the right hand side of the screen in oblique right why do we call it oblique because the angle from here to here is at an angle of what 45 degree right why this here from here to here you know it is what 180 Right, so I just make it to be 180 degree. This is more than a what? 180 degree. So it depends. So the minute is just 45 degree. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.